Hey everyone, this is Chaz, and um, I wanted to talk to you all a bit, um, give you an all an update of what's going on. Um, in my last major video, where I showed all of you the letter that I got from CTS and the uh, the fact that I'd gotten in, um, it was pretty well received, and a lot of people watched it and offered their congratulations. So. This is kind of letting you know of what's going on with regards to my preparations to actually go to CTS. Um, I've submitted all of my paperwork, um, all of the necessary forms that I had to fa sign, and all of the uh, proof of um, vaccinations and all that other stuff. So, paperwork rise, I am ready to go. Um, I have I applied for a scholarship through my church that would have been a two thousand dollar scholarship. Unfortunately, I didn't get the scholarship, um, which is a little odd to me because the scholarship fund that has been established is supposed to, um, whenever possible, give one of the scholarships. There are five scholarships that are given out every year, and whenever possible, they're supposed to give one scholarship to a seminary student. They haven't ever given a scholarship to a seminary student, and they didn't give a scholarship to a seminary student this year either. But I don't know why, um, but I didn't get the scholarship, so it's not a huge deal. It would have just been an additional $2,000 to help pay for the tuition and fees. Um, so as of right now, I've got half my tuition paid for um, through the trustee scholarship and I've got an AmeriCorps uh, Education Award. So it's now come down to trying to figure out how to pay for the rest of it. Um, and the reason I now have to think about how I'm going to pay for the rest of it is something has happened in my personal life. Um, in a lot of my videos you hear me talk about David. Um, and something has happened that I didn't think would happen in a million years. Um, you know, David has been there, was there when I went uh, through Eden to try to get into Eden. He was there for the entire process of trying to get into CTS. And one of the things that really drove me to continue to try and get into seminary after being rejected by Eden was David. I, I wanted I wanted to do something. I wanted David to be proud of me. I wanted David to have a reason to, you know, I wanted to have something to do so that David could, when asked, you know, what does your, your partner do? He could say, well, you know, he's currently in seminary, or he's doing this, or he's doing that. Uh, because for the past five years, I've pretty much just taken care of the house. Um... But about a month ago, after nine years together, after nine years of loving and hoping and dreaming and praying and having all of those things that a couple has together, David informed me that he wants to end the relationship. And I was really... I mean, the, the timing sucks, because I just, I'd gotten, it'd been about a month since I'd gotten accepted to CTS, and then all of a sudden David decides to end the relationship, and I was really looking forward to going through this with David. Um, this is not a mutual breakup, I just want you all to know that. I am very much not okay with the relationship ending. But David has made his decision, and his decision is to end the relationship. We're still living together for the time being, and probably will until I go off to CTS. But the plans and the hopes and all the things that I had looked forward to, to living together in Chicago, to David having a great job, and him going off to work every day, and me going off to school, and developing an, a new existence in Chicago as opposed to being in Belleville. That's not going to happen. Um, I'm probably realistically looking at having to take out some student loans 
I've filled out the FAFSA form. Um, apparently I'm eligible for $20,000, a little bit more than $20,000 in um, student loans, which will help to pay for some form of housing. Um, but it's going to be on my own. It's not going to be with David. And I'm really sad about that. I thought we were going to be forever. And I don't know. It's going to take some time to adjust to being single again. I just... I had this period of great happiness. I had been depressed for so long when I had gotten rejected by Eden, but I didn't stop. I moved ahead, I pushed ahead, and I tried for CTS, and I got into CTS. And so I had a month where everything was fine. I was into CTS, I had a good relationship, my future was going to go as I had hoped it would, and then and then this. I miss him. I mean, we're still living together, but I miss him. I miss us. I miss what could have been. And it's just not fair. And David says that he's not going to leave me high and dry. He's not going to leave me homeless. He's not going to leave me without a support structure. But I don't want... I don't want his support. I want him. Going off to seminary was supposed to be this great thing for me. For us. And now there is no more us. I have been a we for nine years. And I don't know how to be an I right now. I am scared of my own thoughts, I am scared to be alone, I am scared of what I might do. I just want things back to normal. I want my partner back. I want to go to seminary. I want to have all of the things that I hoped and dreamed about. And I can't have that. Anyway, I'm coming up on about nine minutes of talking and rambling. But I just wanted to let you all know, those of you who have followed my moving on to CTS and the process that I went through in order to get into CTS um, I'm still going to go I'm still going um, my only concern is how I'm gonna pay for it how I'm gonna pay for an apartment how I'm gonna pay for books and food and laundry and all of the things that I thought would be taken care of by David and I still being a couple and still living together. Anyway, um, David, if you see this, I love you. I really do. And I will, uh, I'll talk to all of you YouTube people later. Just pray for me, those of you who do. Because this is not going to be easy for me. Anyway, this is Jazz, signing off. Bye.